Hello everybody, and welcome back to Guide Eater 2 Rage Burst. So last time we were gonna do a mission fighting a Tuskat Lipoka and a Vajra. This time, we're gonna go do that. Um, but I wanted to see really quickly, because I haven't actually checked it out in a while. I haven't seen if there's any new weapons that we can make from the parts. Ooh. Ooh. That's just from a bunch of other stuff. I don't care about that. Ooh, what is that from the hominid? That's from the um the Kongu Archibarians. Does Blaze resolution? Resolution. Do they all have a resolution? They all do. All the Archibarant ones do. Terror Squad, that's the um that's Gills. Ooh. That's not too bad. Shields didn't give me This was the um the world opener one. I think. Oh, it's got a bit of two different ones, apparently. Huh. Oh. That is actually really freaking nice. I mean, it does the same thing as this. Um, I don't care about those buffs any more than this. That's real freaking nice. I honestly prefer it because it looks better. Only reason. Anything here? No. Anything here? No, no, no. Karanos. Interesting. The spark. Sadly, I've gotten some better spark ones recently. I mean, there's even, like, these things. It's not too bad, though. Any shields that are new? Not really. Oh, that's pretty nice. Right, Burning Divine. I actually was looking for a shield like that recently. I don't remember what I went with. Ah, uh, I remember what I went with, um, the, the Hannibal shields, because they do pretty good. And all these. Is that the... Yeah, that is. Hmm. Well, at least it's not like the other Kangu items that are weak or resistant like this. Not resistant, um, lacking. Other than that, we're good to go. Nothing new, too special. Oh, you know what? I really hope. I really hope. No. Nope. Man, it has been since like episode 40 or 50 since we got any of those. <sighs> I really wish we got some new parts. I'm transmitting Shield's new intel What's on the up? enemies. Scouts are reporting a large origami is on its way. ETA one minute. Little the point now. Oh, I forgot to switch the blood arts. Right. I wanted to set up something for the Tezcat Lipoka, because I was going to try um, the spear. Usually I use the short sword, but uh, a spear should work is fine. It's just I prefer the um, the Cavalier, honestly. I prefer the Cavalier because um, Tezcat Lipoka's guns are weak to pierce from a melee weapon. And there's no real other melee weapon aside from spears and the Chevalier series weapons that, um, do pierce. Hmm. Seems like his mail or his, uh, claws and head are weak to slash and not pierce. But his lower legs are. Or his front back legs are. It does well enough on his tail, at least. As long as it does get against one part, I'm fine with that. It is painful, but I can deal with it, at least. So I still... oh. Right. That does a lot of damage to that. The it. Is breaking off its attack to me. It does good enough to his head. The origami is Again? breaking off its attack to feed. Uh, where are you going? I... Ooh. Half a second off. Oh, Dolphin Glide, that's what this one is. Right, okay. Alright, I can get used to that. That's not too bad, uh oh. Alright. Tez got Lethal because optional? Oh, okay. Not, you know, mandatory. I can deal with this. He's almost dead. 
I was hoping I'd have to fight both. And here I was all prepared and everything. Hmm. Oh well. Well, that was the quickest fuck mission. I expected more. So yeah, just get Poka. Um, I'm gonna leave you here. That, you know, base camp we have somewhere. Just don't eat it, okay? I'll let you live for now. You get to live this day, but uh, I will see you later. Don't kill everybody, okay? I would like that. If you do, though, I understand. I, I know what you are. Taz, don't. We're not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know you're gonna kill everybody. Just don't make it, you know, my fault. Cause uh, it's not my fault. I gotta go now. I'll uh, I'll see ya. Bye. Nice guy that Tez. All right, let's do this. Prefers to call him Tez cause all his friends call him sure Lipoka, and he just hates right, that. All right, let's do this. Would you like being called Lipoka? He likes Tez. Can't blame him. Gun from lock on. Oh, that's an awkward one. Um. Miracle price. I'll take that. That's not too bad. I get greedy. I get two buffs I don't give a shit about. Well, I get one buff, one debuff, technically. And I don't give a shit about either, so. I'll take it. Oh, that gives me greedy. That gives me greedy, then I can switch out, um, I can switch out this, because this gives me greedy, correct? Should be like, oh, okay, we whip. Yeah, that gives me greedy. Okay. That gives me, uh, wiggle room. You know what? You know what? You earned it. You earned it. I might regret this later. Um, uh, d defense, guarded strike, um, eh, fuck it. No, and uh, fuck it. You earned it. Hey, Lika. Uh, sorry for calling you here all of a sudden. I wanted to tell you something that's been on my mind. Oh shit, Lika. I felt the same way since, you know, you took that strap down. It seems that the blood rays resonance control system has the effect of amplifying blood flowers. Oh shit, she was talking about blood power, she was talking about madly in love with her. During blood rage. You okay? Evokes Biosfield Pulse went way up. It really is incredible. If everyone in blood becomes able to use blood rage, that would be amazing, but the most powerful one. I think it would be by Nana's Attract. She could lure all the origami into a cage and make an origami zoo. Alright. Well, Romeo's heart is the most powerful, but it isn't Livy's actual power, so she probably couldn't use Blood Rage. Of course, if you use Romeo's God Heart directly, it might be possible, but you'd get infected for sure. Sorry, I got a little excited there. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to say that Blood Rage has a bright future. Why, thank you, Liku. And let's move on from that conversation and ignore that it ever happened. Uh, Nana. The upper layer base camp is almost finished. If we go above that, we'll be we'll get to the singularity. Does that mean that Julius will be there too? Well, of course. When I think about it, it makes me a little nervous. Ah, hmm. uh, Shield. As we move past the base camp and closer to Julius, Dr. Rachel will no doubtedly try to stop us somehow. Yes, this is is the always prepared Dr. Rachel we we're talking about. We have to be ready for anything. Gilly. We finally made it this far. It took a while, but we're so close to Julius now. As soon as the base camp is complete, let's go. We don't have time to be taking it easy. I know, Gilly. Once we get past the upper layer, there isn't much left. In other words, the top is near, very near. It means that Julius is likely in the area at the very top, the flower-like area. Didn't that flower get burst and turn into like, you know, a big ass, like, um, oh, you see it in like a lot of holy stuff with how people have it like, like shoulder pauldrons, like pauldrons, kind of looked like one of those, or a crown. I just returned from assisting with the base cam, each brick 
and beam was placed with my love and care. From that bastion of love shall fly forth the warriors of justice. <laughs> well, certainly, very, yeah. We shall certainly prevail. Emil, I'm gonna miss you. Squeak, squeak. I don't know when, I don't know how, Cappy. But I will. Goodbye. There have been an increasing report of origami, even outside the spell tree. The apocalypse is nearing. But that just means lots more reward money for us. I'm gonna be rolling in it. Like your eyes every time Carol talks. I just asked to prepare the emergency rations for the base camp. There's so much to make, so it's quite the job. But I'm happy when I'm talking about it, how it will help you guys. But I just don't want to make that much food tonight. My hands have a cramp. Poor Matsumi. Working all the time. Uh, there shouldn't be anything. Oh! <gasps> you know what? I forgot so badly. The clothes. Okay, I like that. I think I like this one the most. We don't get enough green. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's... is that an outfit? No. Oh, right, that's my actual look. That's nice, actually. Mm -hmm. I like the purple. We don't get very much, like, regular purple. We get a lot of dark purple and black and purple. That's pretty nice, too. Ooh. You don't say... Oh, I like that. And that's it? Okay, let's look at the bottoms. Show me the bottoms. Alright, that is good. Still alright, actually that's kinda nice. I can work with this. Ooh, I really like that. I like the... the... it's kinda like dark blue and purple. I know it's supposed to be purple, but it's like dark blue and white with purple accents. Actually, that's really cool. The color is really weird together, but it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. Now you're talking. You know, I guess we won't get to see you anymore. Sorry. No patience. Soma? Soma, my man. If we lose the singularity, this world will fall into an eternal chaos. To stop it, we must restore Julius as the singularity. It's just like Sakaki and Director Felton say. Julius as the singularity is the most reasonable solution. But you guys aren't about to give it up right. Neither will I. As a scientist, I'm gonna search for another way. Like using link support devices to transmit the power of parts over the entire spiral tree, for example. It's still just an idea, but I firmly believe that those who don't give up can make miracles happen. Spoken like a real believer, a scientist, and a friend, Sama. I clicked way far in the corner there, but I still get to talk to you, Sakaki. We will soon reach our destination, but I still, I still, I still think our only choice is to restore Julius to singularity. Once he has control over the spell tree, the Arca Barons and Black Butterflies can slowly be eliminated. It's a gamble to see who can get a checkmate first, and I'm not sure the odds are in our favor. Look, Sakaki, I ain't about odds. Hello there. Go right in, Captain. You know, you're very complacent now. I like that. Yo. When you really think about it, it's only thanks to Corporal Livy that we've been able to get this far. I mean... You know what? Yeah. You're right. We've collected plenty of data and samples. In fact, we have, we're having a hard time analyzing them all. That's good. Work means you're... Plenty of work means you have plenty of to do. The singularity is almost certainly at the top of the sprout tree. However, we expect to meet with resistance. In preparation for the final battle, we are building one last base camp deep in the upper layer to complete the supply chain. 
Soon we will see the results of our efforts to fruition. I ask for just a little more patience, Captain. I asked for that too. Man, it's been... It's been long. I just re received word that construction on the upper layer base camp is almost complete. Please take care of this mission until the base camp is fully completed. So I gotta ask. We have these two missions. Hmm. So you want me to do a thorny bed. After chasing off a charged for Camlin and a Diaspita, both are gonna be flooded into the old city. There they got friendly with a swarm of charged zygotes. Now the difficulty of this disposal has ramped up a notch. Head into the old city, ignore all small origami, and take these two large origami out. Okay. I can do this. Is it more? No, okay. My question is, do we do this? Because we got enough time to do at least probably the one of the urgencies, but I don't think we have time to do this and then the next story. Uh, I think we have to do this. Oh, I almost walked out without changing. That would have been bad. Um, divine, right. Can I switch this at all? Um, uh, divine Blaze? Um, ooh, that's real freaking awkward. I don't think I have... Oh. Okay. Um, can I make that work with a blaster, though? I mean... Yes, but... Hmm. I guess that this will no, this won't do fine. Um, spark divine, spark divine. Um, last two. Okay. Adder, as always. This get this shield gets like the most used almost. And we'll just see if we can upgrade these two. Probably can. Yeah. At least one more. Yeah, that's as high as it's gonna go. Okay. And this can get upgraded. The reason I didn't upgrade it is because I had to upgrade other stuff and I didn't know if I needed those phantom parts for other stuff, you know? Because the problem with a lot of these upgrades is they use like tier 1, 2, and 3 stuff. So, yeah. I don't think I got any good parts for short swords or for blasters at the moment. No, it's a little... No, charge ability speed doesn't matter, so this is the only thing it would get. No. Okay. Um, and bullets. Charge to you. No, charge, uh, Fort Camlin. Mm, emitters. Emitters are gonna be our best bet. Um, let's prepare for the worst. Yeah, okay. I could work with this. I could work with this. It's not too bad yet. On the I figured this much. Your defense is rising. Make good use of that shield. Oh, I forgot to look at the blood arts. Um. Hmm. That's what it is. Okay. Alright. It's fine. I figured as much. I have to work on a couple of um, blood arts for the short sword. And I did all the Y attacks, I believe. All my Y attack blood arts are maxed out currently with the short sword. I can't believe I got that. Alright. Not enough to kill you, right? Forgot blood um, Oracle. Oracle, right. Oh, I thought that knocked you down. Okay. Um. They just keep fucking spawning, don't they? Jeez. I know I said to ignore them, but usually that just means, hey, there's little guys in the 
battle. That is it. They very rarely constantly spawn. And usually it's urgent missions when they do. Hmm. Well, they aren't responding yet, so that's good. Alright. Do I... yeah. I'm not risking it. No, oh, you fuck. Couldn't even let me get my bite off. Damn shame. That should have probably hit me. Sometimes I'm like higher than this and I still get hit by the tail. It almost looked like there was an item over here for a second. If there is, I've been missing it every time. Good shit. Well, thank you, Libby. I don't know I can do this necessarily, but I think I can. I think I can. Oh, right, the, the Borg Spark Bomb. Um. Do I want to use it? Ooh, do I want to use it to start? Yeah. It explodes instantly. It doesn't explode after a second of hitting him. Am I thinking of the sniper? Hmm. I might be thinking of the sniper blood bullets. Or origami bullets. I thought it was the, bl the blaster though. Hmm. I must be wrong. Hmm. How about this? Hmm. So that's awkward. Um... Yeah. I'm just hit you. Man, I missed having shield. I missed having uh, enemy HP show. But, man, I missed having shield and Nana. It left a big old gap in my heart. Especially where the armor 2 to 5 was. And that really was awkward for me. I really hated it. And I'm glad she's back. So I don't have to deal with the code of 2 to 5, so I can actually level code it now. Here, Nana. Here, Shield. I've missed you. Truly. Even barely. Alright. Still not enough. I don't think I can really. Yeah, well, I'm doing 70, right? I was getting hit by that either way. Hmm. At least he's beefy. Oh, it was hitting Nana. Okay. Er, Shield. Alright, that's fine. I thought I already sore that away. It extends? What sorcery is this? Libby, watch your health, all right? It's so much stronger. When has it been extending? Conditions oh, have been fulfilled. Link support devices oh, spinning shit. up. Your defense is rising. That's fine. Make good use of that shield. He's not nearly dead. Oh, he's nearly dead. Where is your fucking... It's up there. Alright. Well. You have full permission to die now. Good to know. Not all can say that. Good shit. That's a paralyze. Or a stun. Or not a stun, but um... Crap. You know what? Nana actually uses traps a lot. I gotta say that. Nana really does use her traps a lot. Here you go. Shield? No, oh, sorry, excuse me. Why? Attack! Oh shit. Okay. 
It works all right. It doesn't work great. Uh, it works all right. Could be better. I don't know if it's uh, rank two or three. If it's rank two, it's doing good. If it's rank three, it's doing okay. I really hate that attack. Him shooting out a lot of uh, bullets and stuff. Because holy hell, he shoots out an ungodly amount of them. No, this... I got one left. Here you go, Levy. Um, you can have it. Nope. No cape for you. You're not a hero. Actually, that's not true. Everybody knows heroes have smiles, not capes. Ooh. Don't think I can get out of that right away. I hate that when they're like... Oh, shit. Ooh. That was pretty close. Ah, I could have blocked in time. I'm getting better at anticipating the attack, so... I say that as I just stand there and get hit, technically. Oh, he's enraged. Oh. I was wondering why I was doing very little damage as well. There we go, he's not enraged now. I wish the damage they did with jumps like that were based on um, the distance they actually move. Ooh, good shit, you guys. He's gonna roar. He's not gonna roar. He didn't roar. I thought he was gonna roar because he got enraged, but he uh, didn't. He ignored his own mechanics. Damn. Oh well. It's fine. So what part? The head. Okay. Alright. That's hitting your cape. That hit your head. See, he shoots so fucking many of those out. I just hate how many he shoots out. Because if you move, like if you try to dash or anything after you get hit, you can hit three times. The initial knockdown when you get up, and then you get hit, and then you get up and get hit again. It's pretty fucking bad. Very punishing, I do have to say. Um. Yeah, about that. Oh, uh, it's not right on... There it is. That's actually fine, you can do that. Oh. Mission complete. Extraction team coming in. That blood art kind of made right hitting his head a little difficult, well, though. Certainly. Just a little bit. But I definitely could have been doing this attack, so... I could have been doing better. But I didn't. Still, good fight. Ten minutes for a dice pita and a charge board camlin. And, oh god, how many was it? It was like six or seven shards zygotes. Not too bad on that side. Hey. Shield. I forgot this is shield set. My bad. So let's see, we'll probably have this, and I'm really worried that we're going to get to end mission. Well, no, it will show us when the end mission's going to come. Good work, everyone. It's not going to be like, oh yeah, go fight, um, go hunt down some ogre tails, and oh yeah, the Destroy of Worlds has showed up. Can you deal with him as well? Just, I know, just do it on the way back to base. You know what, you can bring him back to base and we'll help. No, no. Man, I really thought he was going to roar at that one point. Because, uh, usually, they do animations when they get enraged. Sometimes. But we broke his part and he didn't do... He wasn't doing an attack or anything. So I was like, okay, he'll do his roar. He'll do his enrage animation. When he gets enraged, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, god, everybody's here. 
Captain, they found the Singularity, and Director Feldman says he has a mission for us. Oh. Looking back, I realized that Magnolia Compass, Friar, and Blood were just pawns in Dr. Rachel's mad plan. But I think that the connections I've made with everybody here, and mine and mine alone, are mine and mine alone. Let's aim for the top. We've got to rescue Julius from Dr. Rachel's clutches. I, kept, I said mine and mine alone, or mine and mine, because I was looking at Shield, and then I looked at myself and I was Shield. We're nearly, we're nearing the top of the spiral tree. Let uh, first let's meet with Director Feldman. Afterwards, I have something I want to tell you. Let's meet again later. Okay. Blood will have a breakthrough. Blood will have to break through the enemies in the upper layer. Oh, but the far east branch will handle the enemies in the tower or in the tree, and Cradle will handle the ones outside. You take the rest. Thank you, Kota. For a second, his eyes look different colors. Director Feldman is going to officially order a rescue for Julius. Really? Let me know when your meeting with him is over. Okay. Feldman, we are good as gold. The upper layer base camp is finally finished. Sorry for taking so long. Alyssa, you did that in like literally an hour. You're amazing. We've secured the entrance to the top as well. You should be able to go there whenever you're ready. On it. Haru, my bud, my man. Man, this is a pretty intense situation. Maybe I should start getting serious too. I was helping with the base camp when a whole bunch of upper layer origami came at us. That is, this it. This has to be Dr. Rachel's last struggle. We've got to stop her. We're going to. Squeak. Thank you. I will never forget you, Cappy. Actually, no, I have a horrible memory. I will, I will really forget you, but I will try to remember you every step of the way. Like, all these steps. Multiple steps. I will remember you with every one. And then shortly forget you. The defense unit will guard the tree from origami instruction or intrusion. Not a single ogre tail will make it past. Instructor, you decide which path is right, and then you run for it like hell. You got that? I do. Large number of origami are massing as they head for the spiral tree, but don't worry, we'll take care of them. Ura, you've done really good with your job. I know you're a recruit, but good shit. If the divine apocalypse happens, everyone is gonna die, right? If I could, I'd choose to be reborn here, with everybody else. <laughs> but maybe that's a bit too much to ask. Ask and ye shall receive, dear Matsumi. Do we have any mail? We do. Okay. What would you like to do? Oh, I would like to rage. No, I would like to read the mail, actually. Right. From Malika. Kusanaki. Okay. Everything is good to go here. We're getting ready, or we're getting really close to the singularity. I hear Dr. Rachel's will is closing in as well. That's why I went ahead and did some special last minute work on your god arc. Oh, well, thank you. I know it's going to be a tough fight. I'm rooting for you guys. Satsuki. I heard the news. You're almost to the top of the spell tree, right? Then that means we've got our front page story. You better come back safely or I'll have to rewrite my happy ending article and I've got that I've got ready. I'm waiting for your safe return. Thank you. Oh dear Emil. Friends, let us spark let us sparkle in the darkness. The black of the night, the heavy of the gloom, the brighter we nights must shine as beacons of courage for our frightened charges. In the most rhyme of times, we must diligently raise the banner of hope, my friends. Can you not see them? Ah, oh, countless victories against the darkness. At times we shed tears, at times we trembled, but still we prevailed. And now we stand here, bathed in glory. Now is our time to shine, 
to scatter the darkness with the light of camaraderie and our steely wills sparkle. Can't, I can't. Camille, you are one of the best characters ever read, ever, of all time. Uh, I'll see Sakaki before he sees Feldman, because I feel like Feldman's going to have a cutscene. Okay. Doorman? Director Feldman's waiting. Please enter. Okay. Oh, what's up, everybody? Um, you. Now that we've come this far, nothing is more... There is nothing more for us to do but entrust the rest to you God-eaters. A prayer for those who would devour the restless god. <laughs> what a situation we find ourselves in. I know. No one can say what lies ahead. That's why the last word will fall to you. The ones on the battlefield. Don't give up until you're satisfied with the outcome. That's all I have to say. Ooh, do I get a choice? Real talk. Do I get a choice? I used to worry about Corporal Libby, worrying that blood was far too dangerous for her, but I saw her smile for the first time, and it's thanks to you. I'm rooting for you guys from the bottom of my heart. Aw, thank you. Rindo? That's with the gloomy face, or what's with the gloomy face? Aren't you going to meet with an old friend? Smile then. Come on, smile. You guys will be fine, I guarantee it. So, you just go get them with a smile on your face, right? Oh, Lindo, I am. We've reached the top. As branch director, I'm in a position where I have to ask you to restore the singularity. However, I'm trusting in the power of your will. It is only human what will, what will that can unlock the potential for upcoming limitations. Jeez, Sakaki, you gave me quite the mouthful. I'm sorry for making you bear this burden until the very end. I'm truly sorry. As Rachel's sister, I have one last request. Would you find her, please? Dot dot dot. That's it? When you find her. Oh, when you find her. Okay, yeah, I'll kill your sister. I'm cool with that. Actually, no, technically I'll kill the origami infestation that is Dr. Rachel now. Not your sister. Because she died a long time ago. Leah. We have detected incredible intense oracle cell activity at the location of the singularity single. Blood. You're the only ones who can stand against it. If we cannot restore Julius to the singularity, we will have no future. I implore you to do whatever it takes to stop Dr. Rachel's plan for the devouring apocalypse. Feldman, I'm gonna kick the shit out of Dr. Rachel. Man, I've been waiting a long time to say that. So, Fran, let me know. Livy wanted to speak with you before the operation. Please go see what she wants. Oh, thank you. I forgot about that, actually. Thank you, Fran. Libby? It won't be long until we reach the singularity above. Before we do, I have something I'd like to share. I believe the doctor's will is already very close to Julius, to the singularity. We must hurry. If for some reason we don't make it in time and the apocalypse begins, I plan to release Heart to stop it. I know it can't really even be called a strategy and I don't know if it will work, but We get. Mm. Mm. This is kind of a selfish answer. I'm gonna ask this. I see. <laughs> You're right. Mm. Let's see. I suppose I would just ask that you stay beside me until the very end. I think I can be stronger that way. No matter what happens, we must do everything in order in our power to end this. And then, we will all reach the singularity and save Julius. So, I gotta ask the self- Oh, I can't! Oh, okay. Cool. I'm actually cool with that. 
All right, Fran, give me the deets. Many Aragami are massing in the upper layer. It's almost as if they are trying to stop our progress. You will undoubtedly face a series of battles like nothing you have ever encountered so far. I am praying for your safe return. Fran, it's been a pleasure. Mausoleum of Destruction. Three phases. Oh, Nexus of Death and Rebirth. Now that's an ending. That's a battlefield. Alright. Dr. Real, Dr. Rachel has been manipulating MIA Captain Julius Visconti in order to restart the Devouring Apocalypse. This is a three-phase operation to recover him and to stop her. She is expected to mount a fierce resistance. Your task in this first phase is to destroy an Antovasora, a Yaksha Turva, and a Magna Gawain. Breeze weaponry will come in handy. Okay, I got that. Phase 2. Destroy, destroy a Wild Buster Arc Soldier and a Wild Blade Arc Soldier. Please weaponry is recommended. Okay. Phase 3. Rachel Claudius will do anything she can to stop you. Expect fierce resistance and prepare for anything. And kick the living shit out of her every step of the way. With Cappy in mind, of course. Oh, so next time, we will end. Or probably, I, I, I keep freaking saying that. I really do think this time, though, we are going to end. I think this is the end mission here, folks. Next time, we're going to end God Eater 2. Watch some amazing cutscenes, probably. Sit back, relax, read the credits. Thank everybody who's put effort into this game. And kill fucking Dr. Rachel. Man, I've enjoyed this journey. And I hope you guys have too. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.